I'm Mr. Re oh shit, what are the lyrics again? <laughs> I told you I was gonna be stupid, it's a cold open. Shit, should I make that the cold open? Yes. Like, that's <laughs> hey, I'm the broke motherfucker who built this ridiculous Christmas set, and welcome to 25 Cocktails of Christmas. <laughs> oh, hey there, hi there, ho there. My name is Michael, I'm a former bartender from the Kalamazoo, Michigan area. Happy December, and uh, we're starting off doing 25 drinks of, of Christmas. 25 days worth of cocktails, a different cocktail, every single day for 25 days. God help me. The first installment of this uh, has to go to uh, the most ridiculous of places, if you can't tell, by taking inspiration from the movie Year Without a Santa Claus, uh, featuring the characters Heat Miser and Snow Miser. Yeah, you've never, you've, you've never seen this movie, right? Nope. No, so you have no idea what this movie is like. Not really. I've seen the clips of the song <laughs> that you were horribly trying to sing at the end. That I totally forgot the lyrics to? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a ride. <laughs> it's weird. It's the, the crux of the movie, if I remember correctly, is like, uh, there there's like, no Santa like dies or something, what? and then he gets reborn as this kid who grows up in an orphanage, oh. and then like in like a in like a city that doesn't celebrate Christmas, and he finds out that he's Kris Kringle, and he's got to go on this journey to like make Christmas happen, so he's got to talk to the guy who controls the heat, heat miser, and then his brother Snow Miser. And then there's like, their mother's like a fairy. And I think Father Christmas is a thing. Like he's like, he's like a different person. I, I might be mixing two movies together. <laughs> Cause there's like three or four of these weird stop motion oh, yeah, felt. Like claymation. Yeah, felt like claymation movies that are all fever dreams. The first work that we're doing is called The Heat Miser. It's a riff on an Irish coffee uh, that uses cold brew in place of its traditional sort of idea. And then there's like this kind of cold chocolate uh, chocolate orange thing. So let's get started on that by getting our tools ready. This is a stirred cocktail, so you're gonna need something that you can um, stir comfortably in. And we're going to need everything you see in front of you here. We're going to need to start off uh, an Irish whiskey. It's an Irish coffee, you're gonna have to start there. Um, I'm using the Shelby release of Bushmills Irish whiskey. Grand Marnier or a similar brandy based orange liqueur like dry curacao, uh, some maple syrup, Angostura bitters, and cold brew concentrate. You can make this by essentially putting like one cup of coffee to four cups of water and letting that steep for 24 hours or more, depending on how strong you want it. This is a blend of one cup of a light roast, one cup of a medium roast. You can do it whatever you like though. Honestly, any coffee works fine here. Um, when I workshop this, I used an apple flavored coffee that actually tasted surprisingly good, believe it or not. If you want to do that, go for it, I don't know. Anyway, let's get started making this drink. <laughs> Starts off with an ounce and a half of Irish whiskey. Like I said, I'm using the Bushmills Shelby release here. And you're gonna need an ounce of Grand Marnier or a similar orange liqueur. Grand Marnier works best because it's a brandy-based orange liqueur. So it's got some character to it. It's got that aged quality. It's sweet, but not so sharp like uh, triple sec would be. Next, you're gonna need a half an ounce of maple syrup. This is a technique that I stole from a style of old fashioned um, that honestly I didn't know existed. I gave it a shot here and I thought it worked really well. We're gonna do two to three dashes of Angostura bitters. A dash isn't the most quantifiable size of measurement, but at the very least, just fucking throw it in there. Who gives a shit? Um, and then you're gonna need two ounces of your cold brew concentrate. We're gonna get some ice and stir this till it's chilled. Wait, the heat miser is a cold drink? Uh, it is, technically, yes. You can make it either way. The thing about the, the heat miser is it depends on what you're using for your coffee component. If you if you make this with cold brew, it's a stirred drink, kind of like an old fashioned or or, uh, or like a cold Irish coffee, like which is I think more of like a modern way to do uh, an Irish coffee. If you want to do it in a more classic style, you just need to substitute the cold brew for hot coffee. And then we'll be serving this in um, a rocks glass, like a double-sized rocks glass. Um, just switch it to an Irish coffee mug and change up the garnish a little bit, which I'll go over a, a little bit later. Anyway, we're going to crack two large ice cubes in here. Stir that for about 15 seconds to get everything combined. You're gonna to want to make sure your spoon hits the bottom of the glass because if your maple syrup is anything like mine, it's gonna be pretty thick compared to a normal simple syrup. It might have a hard time combining. Once you got that all together, you're gonna to take your rocks glass. You wanna want like a double size one, not like a single rocks glass. You're gonna throw a large cube of ice into it and then strain those small ice chunks out with a Hawthorne strainer. Thank you. 
For a garnish on this, I like to take uh, an orange and get a peel of it for an expression across the top. Everybody else makes this look so easy. This is the most difficult part of the process for me. This is so unfair. I'm gonna give this a quick spritz over the top. Give it like a nice rimming and then toss that in. And that is a heat miser. Ironically, a cold drink, which now that you've pointed out, I feel oddly self-conscious about. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, heat miser, let's give it a taste. Come on. Yes. This is a Christmas thing as far as I can, just as I can remember it. You ever seen those like foil wrapped orange, like chocolate things? Mm -hmm. Where like they, like you open it up and they fall apart in like the shape of orange wedges? I think so. This tastes like that, mm -hmm. but with like a whiskey impact. And it's really nice. But see, the thing is, this isn't even necessarily just that. Because like the coffee is like, it's coffee. It reads like coffee, but when you think about the way cold brew extracts the flavor of it. It gives it this kind of dark chocolatey like bitterness. And in context with the sweetness we're adding here, it kind of beefs it up a little bit. Um, I will say I put half an ounce of maple syrup in this. That's probably not enough. Um, compared to like a regular double syrup, which is what I usually use, I'd go up to like three quarters of an ounce. But yeah, that is a heat miser. A sort of modern cold brew take on an Irish coffee. Very simple, very easy to make. Do you want to come give it a shot? I don't to be on camera. You don't have to, you can come like right over here. I can hand it to you. Okay. What do you got? What do you think? Hmm. It's a little undersweet. Tiny, a little bit. Tiniest bit undersweet. At least for my it, taste. Yeah, I, I would I agree. Like, I'm a person who really likes uh, sweet drinks. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, the coffee flavor is nice. Yeah, it's not, see, that's, that's why I wanted to do a cold coffee too, because cold brew is so much more pleasant, mm -hmm. just implicitly. But it, uh, it's not bad though. Fair, well. Off to a great start. <laughs> day one, not a flop. All right, well, that is day one of uh, 25 cocktails of Christmas. We started off with uh, an Irish coffee that it now has me absolutely through the roof because I had a Red Bull before this, and now I am just buzzing like crazy. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button down below. There's 24 more days of this coming up with a collection of riffs on classic cocktails, original concepts, crazy mixology techniques and stuff. We're gonna have a bunch of fun. So. Thank you so much for watching this one. Uh, Ooh, you're done. Did it just die? Or no, it didn't die. It stopped recording. It just stopped recording? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. My camera died in the middle of my sign off. It did not. Anyway, <laughs> it didn't die, but like, it stopped. <laughs> Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It's a fun little riff on an Irish coffee, and there's plenty more where that came from. We'll be back tomorrow with yet another cocktail in 25 Cocktails of Christmas. Click the like button and subscribe. Do all that bullshit nobody gives a fuck about. And welcome to the show. This is how we're doing this. I don't script any of this. I am completely lost right now. Well, welcome to the show at the end. Yeah, well, I said at the beginning too. We've come full circle. I'm just out of ideas. That's what's, that's what's happened here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm... Just go back to this bit.